Today, we'll spend some time on coil spinning and stator construction for the low speed alternator project. I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching. For this build, we're using 22 gauge magnetic wire. First course is critical. All subsequent courses will be easier to align if this step is successful. Use your finger and thumb to ensure smooth winding. Be careful. Take your time. lock the coil, you want to loop the last turn, pass underneath it and tighten it up. We'll remove the coil from the spool. Unwind the anchor wire, slide the spool ends and axle bolt off. The handy jig helps to remove the coil. Next, compress the coil with craft tape. Loop the tape at least three times around. Use a tool to thread the tape through the coil. You want three strips for good compression. Okay, now we're going to fit the coil to the stator housing. You want to put the outside loop through the hole in the stator housing. The two coils form a pair. The coil's inside loop attaches to the outside loop of the coil across from it. The final inside loop connects to the inside loops of the other two pairs and becomes ground. To make our first pair of coils, we'll start by removing the wire coating. Be thorough. You want shiny copper wire ends. Add your heat shrink tubing and twist the shiny copper wires together. Apply solder. Let it cool. Slide the heat shrink over the soldered wires. Use a heat gun to shrink the tube. Then, press the connecting wires against the inner wall. Secure with hot glue. I did this later off screen. I also secured the wires on the stator housing deck with a hot glue gun. It worked well. After I made three of these, we put it all together. You can see this assembled and running in the alternator success video. Next, we'll look into rotor construction. Okay, talk to you soon.